So in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit your own modeling pictures on your phone to go from this to this. It's me, Mario. What is up, Carrot Kingdom? So as you guys probably know, I'm working as a professional model, but I'm also very active on Instagram. And one question I get all the time on Instagram is, hey Mario, who takes your modeling photos? And in 90%, the answer to that question is my mom. <laughs> I'm not even kidding guys, 90% of my modeling pictures are just taken by random people, by my friends, by my mom and I edit everything on my phone and that's what I'm gonna do in this video. I'm gonna show you exactly what apps I use and the seven steps I use to make my modeling pictures more professional just using an iPhone. Are you ready? Okay, let's get started. <laughs> All right guys, and to best show you this, let's just do it in a very organized manner. So step number one I always do first is called the selection of my photos. So last week I had my last photo shoot in South Korea and also there was a yacht. And whenever there's a yacht, there's one rule for Instagram photos. You just gotta go on it. You have to take your shirt off, put on fancy sunglasses and start posing. So that's what I did. So you can see here, I go through my feed and I took a bunch of pictures. So whenever I find a picture that I like, I just hit the heart button. So I put favorite. Yo, I like this one. It's like glazing off into the distance. Okay, now that you have a nice selection of your photos, let's get into the actual editing part of this video. So for editing your photos on your phone, there's endless options out there. There's Visco, there's Facetune. There's some weird Korean filter apps that literally make your skin glow like a fairy tale princess. But the two best mobile apps that I personally use and recommend are called Lightroom CC and Snap See, they're both entirely free. You can download them on Android or your iPhone. So the first step I always take, I always work on adjusting the light first. And what I'm gonna show you now in Lightroom can be applied to pretty much every app out there. You can do the exact same thing on Instagram. You can do the same thing on Visco Cam. really doesn't matter. So first thing you wanna do, you look at the picture, you pick one of those, and then you go to light. And first thing I always do, I drop the shadow. So you go down with the shadows. It just brings out the blacks even more. You know the dark Darker things like the shadows get even darker and then I go to highlights and I highlight the highlights to give the highlights more highlights which means that everything that's bright and highlighty is gonna glow even more which just gives your picture a little bit more depth and then also one more thing I do I go over to contrast and here you always want to do slight adjustments you know if you do contrast and you go all the way to the right it just looks very unnatural right I like just to give it a little bit more contrast like plus 10 or plus 11 you know you can see already the picture looks a little bit more cinematic and has a lot more depth and guys if you're new to this and you don't really know how to edit I have two very good solutions for you first of all there's an option here as well it's called auto where you can literally click it in Lightroom and it's gonna suggest you some edits usually in my opinion they don't look very natural it can be your style you can try it out take it as an inspiration but usually I want to try and avoid it just do it myself guys and now let's move to one of my favorite steps which is called color correction and color correction is by far the most powerful tool when it comes to making your pictures look more professional but it can be a little bit overwhelming so before I show you how to color correct on your phone I want to give out a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video which is called Skillshare and you guys probably know that I don't do a lot of sponsorships on this channel but Skillshare is really a platform I've been using myself and it can really help you especially with photo editing so in case you didn't know Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in beauty design business and much more so pretty Premium membership gives you unlimited access to high quality classes on must know topics so you can improve your skills, unlock new opportunities and do the work you love. So I personally use Skillshare to learn more about how to edit YouTube videos, on how to grow my Instagram and there's also some classes on how to actually use Photoshop and Lightroom so it's a perfect fit if you want to get more into detail and if you want to edit your pictures like a pro on a computer. And Skillshare is also more affordable than most learning platforms out there an annual subscription is only ten dollars per month and good news guys since Skillshare is sponsoring this video the first 500 people to go down to the link in the description are gonna get their first two months to try it out for free absolutely no risk involved so guys I believe that learning new skills is one of the most important things ever and here you can literally learn things that you are personally interested in so check it out if that sounds good to you and let's move on to 
actually color grading our pictures. And to do that in Lightroom, you want to go over to color, obviously, and then you want to go to mix. And here you can literally edit every single color individually. So for example, let's go over to blue. That's the first thing I do. So if you have a sky, for example, that's really going to change. You have HUE, which basically changes the color type. So if you go to the left, it gives it like this teal turquoise tone. If you go to the right, it turns the blue more into the red, you know, into like the purple type. So what I always do, I love, I love, I love this bluish tint. So see if I go over, you don't want to go all the way. I go maybe to minus 46, but just play around with it. If you have a lot of sky, it really brings out the sky a lot more. And I also want to give a little bit more saturation. So see if I go all the way over, literally everything is going to look more blue. And also for Instagram, I always like to make my pictures a bit more on the bluish side, you know, and it gives like this cold look, just looks a bit more expensive. And then luminance, you can make the blues even lighter, which basically makes them white or darker, which looks very weird in this case. So I want to go, it actually looks cool when it's a little bit lighter in this case, because it makes my shorts pop a lot more and I just look like I'm in Miami on a freaking yacht. Okay, so I'm pretty happy now with the blue. Let's see what other colors we have. We also have yellow that are the glasses here. And for the yellow also, I want to give a little bit more saturation just to bring out, you know, the yellow thing in the background a little more and to pop my glasses more. It also depends on your style, but I personally, especially for Instagram, like to give it a bit more saturation and vibrance, you know? Yellow is also done. Let's move over to orange. Orange, not just because it's carrot color. It's one of my favorite colors to adjust because it's your skin. So you know that most Instagram models especially, like they have this perfect, even a little bit darker skin. So that's what I do here. I go down a little bit with the saturation and then I bring down the luminance. So see what happens. You can literally turn yourself black. But I like it when I'm a little bit more tan, just gives it like this nice natural glow. And if you make everything else pop more, your skin should still look natural. You don't want your skin to look too saturated or too orange, which in my case happens a lot because I eat like four carrots a day. All right, guys, I'm pretty happy with that. There's not many other colors we can adjust except for maybe red. Do you see my lips here? There's nothing else that's red in this picture. So by going up with the saturation here, it should make my lips more red. Oh yeah kiss those lips beautiful and the last thing I do when it comes to coloring I just color the whole thing by going up with the vibrance a little bit if you go all the way over there you see how the colors pop just a lot more I want to go up just a notch with the vibrance and also with the saturation like I said if you go all the way up with the saturation it's gonna look very weird and unrealistic all the way down just gonna make it black and white basically so I want to go just a little bit higher just to give it more of that saturation and to make it more colorful and popping this looks pretty good and before we move into fine tuning our image, let's go over to effects and do one of my favorite things ever which is called bringing up the clarity. I think on Instagram it's called structure. So you just go over to clarity here. I don't know how to say it but it just like gives it more clarity. I mean it's hard to say this other one is very dreamy and also if you have something that involves abs, going up with the clarity is just going to make your abs pop a lot more. So it's like the ab popper. You can also call it like that if you want to. And then also a little bit of a vignette, which basically means it gives, it makes the outer edges darker. So the focus is more on your face, just a little bit. So it's barely recognizable, but psychologically you just focus more on my actual face when the outside is darker. And seriously, the options on Lightroom for editing are literally endless. So the last thing I do is I go over to detail and give it a little bit more of this sharpening effect. Check it one more time. Maybe adjust now the light a little bit more. Give a little bit more exposure and then I'm pretty happy with it and I just go up here and save it to camera roll. All right guys, now we have an image that looks pretty good. Check it out, this is the before, this is the after. So we've color corrected the photo. And now what I wanna do before I go into Snapseed to do all the fine tuning, I wanna show you one quick thing. You can copy the settings right here, press okay, and then go back to your other photos. And instead of manually doing the same thing again, I can just go up here, go to paste settings, and boom, do you see how they automatically edited the pictures? My lips are red, everything looks more teal and more professional. All right, guys, now at this point, since you saved the pictures to your camera roll, let's open up the second app called Snapseed. Just go to open on device. Now you're looking at the picture here and Snapseed gives you so many very intuitive options to make your shots more professional. One of them is called portrait. So you click portrait. What it does, it literally recognizes where the face is in the picture. And you see here, there's smooth, there's smooth one. There's different options. Basically what they do, they put more focus on your face. Do you see how my face is a little bit more glowing it's because the face spotlight you can also adjust it go down here to adjustments then there's also something called skin 
skin smoothing, which literally, if you have bad skin or you have some pimples or something, you know, and then eye clarity makes the white of your eyes more clear. In this case, I'm wearing sunglasses, it doesn't make a huge difference, but it's a slight adjustment that really helps to make your skin look more smooth. Then let's move on to the next tool I can recommend, which is called Grainy Film. And you know when you take film pictures, they look like so retro and vintage. If you want to go for that look, you can really choose between a lot of different filters. So let's find one that kind of fits this image. And I really believe the L04 or L03 really give it like this nice vintage look. Let's go for L04 and it's still a bit too strong for me. So you can go down here to style strength and just tone it down a little. I just want to give it a little bit of this film effect. And then also you can go to grain. And what grain does, you see if you go all the way up with grain, it just looks like, like a film picture you know that's obviously way too much so I don't want to overdo it I just want to go down a little bit fabulous so we have the basic tone for image we have the filter so now let's go to tools and select the brush tool this is literally the ultimate fine-tuning tool so one option you have here is called dodge and burn which basically just highlights certain areas of your image so what I always do if my face is a little bit dark I like to highlight that because you know I want to put more highlight and attention on my face so I go here here and literally just use your finger and go around your hairline and also a little bit around my face just touch it go over there one two times and guys the tools on here are freaking endless depending on your style you can do something cool like double exposure where you literally pick a different image and you can lay it on top of this image you can kind of layer it on top and create some cool collages just to show you if you want to get creative and do some cool stuff I think we're good with this image for now I'm really happy with the edit so let's go to export and save it as a JPEG and now it should be on your camera roll and we can use it for the final step. Alright guys, final step, you open up the Instagram app, go to your profile, hit plus and just put the picture into the Instagram editing mode. You want to make sure your face is probably in the upper third of the picture, just aesthetically it's more pleasing to the human eye. You can do some slight adjustments. What I always do on Instagram, I apply the clear down filter but I really bring it down to only 9 or something you can do some fine tuning some adjustments here but usually it should be fine then we put down one of our favorite quotes hashtag it's a me hashtag no filter even though we technically use like free filters on here but that's the beauty of social media you can literally you know get as real as it gets picture was taken in Miami Beach even though it was technically taken in Korea the yacht was not even my yacht. It was uh, a yacht that was stocked somewhere. And I went there before I was kicked out by the yacht owner. But hey, nobody will know unless I make a YouTube video and tell everybody about it. So let's quickly sum up the seven steps again. First of all, you have to select your pictures, import them to Lightroom, drop the shadows, go up with the highlights. Then you go into color correction, adjust the saturation of certain colors. Then you go over to Snapseed, apply some fancy grainy filters to your liking, brush it out in certain areas that you want to highlight and then you go to Instagram, post your caption, that should get you all the likes, all the followers or it should be a great picture for your modeling portfolio. Guys, if you want to know how to take professionally looking modeling pictures by yourself on your phone, go over to this video here where I show you exactly how it's done. There's going to be so many more videos coming up every Monday and Friday from Germany, Los Angeles, Barcelona, all over the world. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. That was a good outro. Bye. I've been flying from town to town